works on it. So it's one thing that it's eventually going to come. Tip off has arrived here. Louisville wearing the home whites, going left to right in front of you and already an issue with the tip off. Boston College will be going right to left in front of you wearing the road maroon. And that is knocked out off of Louisville. So Boston College will start with the opening possession here. You're starting five tonight. Lacey, Gotting, Mayor, Daly, Wagner's Louisville right away. Gets the turnover in a bucket and the Cardinals show full court press. And Kristen Carr, you know, we talk about her three-point range, shooting 47% from the three-point line, but we rarely talk about, she is such a great defender, and that's the way to start the tempo for the Louisville Cardinals. Tough traffic inside. Haley Van Lith wearing the bright blue sneaks tonight. Comes up with it. Carr, Van Lith, Dixon, Jones, and Cochran, the familiar starting five for Louisville. Boston College is going to run. And Louisville does well to recover there. Boston College averaging 13 fast break points a game this season, but Louisville is a team that likes to get up and down too. No, this is going to be a very fast paced game, Jeff. Right away, Louisville playing with the energy that Jeff Walls likes to see. As Morgan Jones converts, coming off an incredible performance against her former school, 25 and 10 for her at Florida State. No, it really was. And, you know, it started with the Virginia Tech game. She slowly is, you know, becoming her confident self in this Louisville program. Big thing to monitor here inside the first minute. Got Dang already with her first foul. Joanna Burnaby McNamee in her fifth year leading BC. Two 20 win seasons so far, including a 21 and 12 mark last year. They had a good team, made the third round of the NIT. And has her team at 13 and seven against the 14th toughest schedule in the country as the three falls for Taina Mayer, the freshman from Boston. There's Chris Lynn Carr, the transfer from Syracuse. Sharing the backcourt with Van Lith. Olivia Cochran has been fantastic again this year for Louisville. And Boston College showing a matchup zone defense right now to really try to make the Cardinals shoot outside. Turnover on Louisville, but it's turned right back over. Here comes Carr. Van Lith back to Carr. And then another turnover, a sloppy couple of uh, possessions here for Louisville. Here's Mayer. Andrea Daly, Mayer for three. Underneath falls to Van Lith. Breakneck pace out of the gates here in the first two minutes. I'm loving the kicks tonight for Van Lith. Those are <laughs> eye-catching in all the right ways. They Flashy. definitely stand out. <laughs> Gokteg ends up with that and it's turned over again. And this game just going back and forth very sloppy from the start, but both of these teams just need to settle down and do what they both know how to do. Eight turnovers in the first two and a half minutes between these two teams. 15 on the shot clock for Carr, guarded by Mayer. Step back jumper is short. And turnovers is one of those things that's a big emphasis for both teams, but especially for Coach Jeff Walls. He really wants to see his team get under 13 turnovers per game. Chrislyn Carr has been on fire from three this season. And the rim that time not doing her any favors is Jeff Walls, 16th year at Louisville. And the guy just has churned out win after win after win. You played for him. And even though this has been a difficult season by Louisville standards, you always get the feeling they'll be all right as the season you progresses. Know that, that is one thing. He always figures it out, and he always, you know, brings that confidence level to the players and just figures out a way how to mesh them by the end of the season. Here's Jones, steps into a jumper, missed it. Pulled down by JoJo Lacey, the junior from BC. And a nice pass ahead. It was almost converted underneath by Wagner. 
Cochran carrying it almost across the timeline for Louisville. They reward her for her efforts inside. Nice pass underneath to Dixon for two. And Wade Cochran, way to be patient. I don't know if she meant to do that, but Dixon just cut to the basket, found the open spot, and made the bucket. Mayer having a fantastic season at point guard. Five games with 10 or more assists. That time, jumper's no good from Wagner. Van Lith up fakes, tries to shoot it up and over Gokdang at the side of the backboard. Here to Wagner who flips it in. And now Louisville trying to maybe slow things down a little bit here to start things out. Jones out front, middle of the zone. Now Carr for three. Got it! Chrisman Carr on fire this season. Hits another three. That's her 51st of the year, the most in the ACC. Yeah, if you're Boston College right now, you have to run her off the line. Here's Mayer. Steps into a jumper, missed it. Falls to Van Lith. Couple early boards for Haley Van Lith. Van Lith, the only player this season to have 20 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, and five steals in a game, which he did against Florida State. As the ball works its way to Jones, who hits the jumper. And Morgan Jones loves that short corner jumper. You cannot let her get the ball, catch the ball there, because she is shooting it. It's a seven to two burst here for Louisville. Gokdag is gonna be called for the travel. That's our immediate timeout. It's absolutely brand. Has this ever happened to you? How was school? Fine, whatever. Brand of Louisville and Boston College's coaches as the teams have combined for 10 turnovers so far in the first five and a half minutes. Jeff Greer, Jess Lemley here with you, and Jess, nine of them are live ball turnovers. And that is what both coaches do not want. You know, you, you can have some dead ball turnovers, especially with a fast-paced game, but those live ball turnovers, they'll kill you in the end. And that's one thing that both coaches talked about. They cannot turn the ball over because both teams get a lot of possessions, score a lot of points. So turning the ball over is just freebies for the other team. Casa Robinson, along with Josie Williams and Nyla Harris checking in. Williams right away gets a bucket. And it's a special night for Makasa Robinson. We'll talk more about that in a moment. As Louisville has pulled its lead to six on a 7-0 run here. A big couple of sequences for Boston College early on on the road. They have not won in the Yum Center just one in 11, or one in 12, excuse me, all time against Louisville. They've lost 11 consecutive against Jeff Walls. There's Robinson. Williams and Van Lift with the two player game. 15 on the shot clock. Harris, the impressive freshman, has been a nice contributor off the bench. Van Lith, a corner three. Got it! Haley Van Leith, though we talked about her earlier, we talked about how she hasn't been great this season from the three-point line, but maybe tonight's her night to get going. She does have games, though, where she hits it in bunches. As collision underneath is a charge drawn by Josie Williams. How about Mikasa Robinson, a mainstay? I know someone you're friends with, a great person on and off the floor has put in so much blood, sweat, and tears to this program, and now is the all-time leader for this program, and Jess does a little bit of everything and always has. Yeah, she really does, and you know, we never see her scoring 20 points a game, but it's all of the little things that make this Louisville team go, from her defense to just finding people who are making shots and getting them the ball. She does a little bit of everything, and she does it all very well. Just a great leader of this team as that foul picked up by Harris, her first. Casa from Ashland, Kentucky. 
Missed four games, but has been back for the last five and gives Louisville, as you said, a good passer, a good floor spacer, and a really excellent defender, one of the best in the country. As Boston College trying to hang in here, down nine. And scored in three minutes. Mayer out front. Didn't get it to fall, but Daly gets the rebound. And Boston College is a really good offensive rebounding team. And Timmeren, who checked in during the break. Allie Van Timmeren, the sophomore, missed the layup there. And a foul out front on Mayer. That's her first. Tiana Todd also on the floor now for Boston College, the six-foot freshman from Canada. And BC, we'll talk about it through the course of the night, has had to replace a whole lot, 72% of its scoring from that team we mentioned, 21 and 12 last year. A young group, but a talented group as Van Lith pulls up and misses. Harris fighting for the rebound. A scrum underneath and a jump ball called. Here's that look at what BC lost. Two all ACC players. Three of the program's top 20 all time scorers, and they are one of the only two teams among the Power Five leagues to have no seniors or fifth year players on their roster. Yeah, no, it's, it's really insane, and it's really impressive what Coach Joanna has done this season with this Boston College team. I mean, they go to NC State, beat NC State, beat Florida State. They've struggled the past two games, but, you know, they've played well with everybody. And helped force a difficult inbounds there to get the ball back, but they haven't scored in four minutes. Here's got Dig, the leader in everything coming back from last season. Todd. Trying to work back to Gatte, and Harris is perfectly there on arrival. And Louisville's defense right now is doing a really nice job of throwing Boston College's offense out of whack. Harris traveled. The referees tonight, Meadow Overstreet, Mark McClenney, and Ashley Good. Louisville, three turnovers in the last three possessions as Marissa Russell checks in. The junior from Ottawa, Ontario in Canada. Is a Canadian All-American. I don't want to call her All-American, but as a <laughs> basically <laughs> All-Canada high school prospect. Part of a deep bench for Louisville. Here's got Dang at the top of the key. Todd. And that's one thing. If you look at all of Boston College's game, they love to go inside. They love to drive the ball. So not that possession, but the past possessions, Louisville's done a nice job to keep that ball on the perimeter. Dang gets the layup there for BC, breaking a lengthy drought as Van Lith almost makes the circus shot and drew the foul. That's two fouls on Maria Gokting, a sophomore from Maryland. And she is one of the best shot blockers in the ACC. And that gives Joanna Burnaby McNamee something to think about here. Haley Van Lith coming off that incredible performance against Florida State. Second in scoring in the ACC and was coming off of a fantastic NCAA tournament. I mean, let's be honest, she's been brilliant since she arrived, <laughs> has been everything she's been billed to be, and somehow seems to have taken her game to another level again this year. Oh, yeah, no, she has been fantastic for Louisville. I want to talk about she's a competitor. She stays in the gym. She works on her shot. She's just an overall well-rounded player, and, you know, once that she's the only player in the ACC right now to score 18 or more points per game. That's one thing um, I saw on their stat line. I'm sorry, on their game game notes. Just an elite scorer. 
and if you talk to anyone in the program, is as competitive about anything as anyone can be. I mean, she will compete with you throwing a napkin in the garbage can. <laughs> no, she really was. And like I said, she, she was one of the reasons, you know, they beat Florida State this past Sunday. She had an incredible come off the screen, left-handed, I want to say three-point shot fade away. That really put the game away. It's a big dagger as we often call them. Final minute here, and Louisville has played excellent defense, especially on Wagner, who's really struggled to get going at all, turned it over. Here's Robinson. Four seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock, and Van Lith draws the block out front. She'll yeah. shoot free throws here. Sorry, Jess. I think Boston College is trying to get some early fouls on her, trying to get lucky to see if she can sit some, but nice take by Van Lith. Tiana Todd, who just returned to the rotation after missing six weeks. She played 20 minutes against Virginia, the loss that BC just suffered, but she just drew her second foul of the evening. As Van Lith rims out the free throw. Louisville now one for four from the line to start this game, still up eight. And that one rattled in for Haley Van Lith. Final 28 seconds now. BC, the shot clock is off for them. Just four of 12 from the field with the nine turnovers, now 10. Russell with the takeaway. Still plenty of time, 10 on the game clock. Here's Carr, trying to get to the rim and she scooped it underneath to Cochran. What a play from Carr. And that's the way to know time and score. 20 to nine, an excellent first quarter for Louisville. And it finishes with a flourish. Carr with the dish. When they get possessions, they can score. Turning the ball over just gives Louisville something easy. It's a little surprising when Taina Mayer, the freshman guard from Boston, has been as good as she has been. And just look at that pressure by Kristen Carr. Another turnover there. That was Van Timmeren who kind of got caught. But Mayer, 140 assists in 20 games this year, coming in seven a game. Has had multiple double-digit assists, had 13 in her college debut. But she needs some help from her teammates in the turnover category as Carr for three. Got it. You cannot leave her open. You have to run her off the line. Her second three of the night. Just a lethal three-point shooter. She gets so many good looks. Mayer. Inside to Van Timmeren. Nice pass to Wagner. And that's a scrum underneath between Wagner and Cochran. That's another look at the three. Yeah, and good court awareness by Olivia Cochran to find Chrislin Carr. But she gets so many good open looks because her teammates find her and get her the basketball. She's shooting 47% from the three point line. A great lethal three-point shooter, and you know, she's just got to keep doing that for this global team to be successful. An item of note for Boston College, Maria Gokdang, during the quarter break, we were checking the replay of the first foul call of the game to meet, make sure it was on her, and they did confirm it. So she is on the bench right now with two fouls. Cochran with a nice up fake. Wagner drew the charge. Ooh, and Cochran not very happy with that call. Eh. What do you think? I mean, she got the, I, mean, I don't think her feet were moving and that's what they really look for is if the defensive player gets set before the offensive player runs over. Well, it's a tough argument if you're a big and you're spinning like that. It, you're it not really gonna, is, and you're out of control. Yeah, you're not going to win that, uh, that argument very often. So BC, a team that forces a ton of turnovers. Louisville, a team that forces a bunch of turnovers. 
And what do you know, both teams have a bunch of turnovers. 19 <laughs> here before the first media timeout of the second half, the second quarter, excuse me. Here's Mayer guarded by Carr out front. Mayer, one of a couple Boston kids on this BC roster. This curl there from Lacey and baked in the three. And JoJo Lacey leads Boston College in, in threes made, an excellent three-point shooter, but Haley Van Lith comes down to the other end and knocks it down. An answer from Haley Van Lith, her second three of the night. Here's Wagner, Mayer for three, got it. A nice shot by Mayer. If Boston College wants to stay in this game, they have to knock down open shots. Three threes in 23 seconds between these two teams. It's a bad handoff by Russell, and it's stolen by Wagner. And the lefty layup is good. And Wagner, the transfer from NC State, has really come to this Boston College program and put on a show. Kid from Nashville has 65 steals this season, and another turnover. The offensive foul called on Carr. And just like that, she's one of those players that can change the tempo of the game. First off, she gets the steal, goes in for the layup, then gets the offensive charge called on her as well. So now it's back to Boston College ball. The crowd in the Yum Center is going crazy. They do not like that call. Lacey out front to Mayer. Jeff Wall's still talking to the referees. Van Tiberen for three, got it. And just like that, BC is back to a five-point deficit. Four of six from three-point range. It's a 10-3 little stretch here for Boston College. Carr getting some help here on the screen from Cochran. Robinson with a physical drive drew the foul on Van Timmeren. And that's one thing, Jeff, that I went to their pra Louisville's practice on Tuesday and Jeff Walls expressed to his team that he wanted to see who can get a paint touch every single time. Who can get in that paint and get somebody the open shot? Mikasa Robinson getting in the paint and now she's on the free throw line. It's an underrated part of her game. She's not a big scorer and hasn't ever been, but she can beat defenders off the dribble and she's a, such a good passer and makes her a threat. Exactly, and that's one thing, like you said, she can beat defenders off the dribble. Her first step as as quick as anybody, and then her court awareness to be able to find Chris Linkar, Haley Van Lith, to knock down, for players to knock down the open shots. That's why she does not have to be a scorer for this little team. Already running a bunch of different stats across that box score as Wagner trying to score over Van Lith. Still a fight in the post, got her own miss. The third time is good. It's a five point game. A nice defense from Van Lith, keeping her hands up, but when, that, when Wagner misses the first shot, she has to find and put a body on her. Eight points, five boards for Wagner, who's come alive here after a tough start. Carr gets the screen from Robinson. And this is a Boston College team who is not going to quit. They're going to keep fighting till the very end. Another look at the effort from Wagner in the post. Had a little bit of help from Cochran there, but was able to slip through Van Lith and get the put back. Four of nine from the field for Wagner, who is gonna go get looked at real quick. Looks like her finger is being attended to by the trainers for BC. Yeah, and, and Wagner averaging 3.2 offensive rebounds per game. Lacey hits a three, her second of the game, and it's a two-point deficit. BC five, excuse me, six of its last eight. And like we talked about earlier, JoJo Lacey, you cannot lose her on the three-point line because she's shooting the ball. Morgan Jones off to Carr. Louisville needs some momentum back here. Robinson lost her balance there. BC wanted the travel, two on the shot. Van Lith, 
No good, Lacey with the rebound. BC already four of four from three point range this quarter. The crowd starting to get a little antsy here inside the Yum Center. And Mayer turns it over, trying to get it inside. She's arguing for a deflection. And Mark McClenny, the referee coming over to make that correction on the call. So it will be BC ball under the rim. 10 seconds on the shot clock. And a chance to tie this game. And it's turned over on the inbounds. Burnaby McNamee just turning away in disgust on that giveaway. <laughs> That's a tough shot from Van Lance and couldn't get it to fall. An angsty second quarter for Louisville and it's tied up. Nice pass by Mayer. Louisville's just gotta get back and play some defense. But Boston College has done a really nice job of staying patient, you know, getting down early in the first quarter, but finding a way to work their way back into this basketball game. Marika Kono on the floor now for Louisville. An 18 4 BC run before that lay in couldn't fall. Boston College 7 of 10 this quarter with five assists on those seven field goals. In that last play, that's one of those plays where Kristen Carr, she got to the paint. Narika Kono, a 50% three-point shooter, wide open in the corner. That's an easy pass to Kono for the open three. But I think as Louisville continues to grow, those are the type of things that Jeff Walls wants that extra pass made for his team. And Timmerin got it off just before the shot clock expired. Now the card's trying to push the pace through Robinson. And Lith, quick post up for Cochran, missed it. And Jeff, just this back and forth pace right now. Van Timmeren gives BC the lead. A 9-0 run and 17-2 over the last four minutes and 48 seconds. And Boston College just continuing to push the pace, not allowing Louisville to set up in any type of defense. Inside, another layup, and Jeff Walls is going to call a timeout. Boston College is surging. The threes are falling. The steals are coming, and the Eagles have soared into the lead up four on Louisville here in the second quarter. Here for the final three minutes of this second quarter, where Boston College has completely flipped the script. Started slow, really struggled in that first quarter. But Jess Lemley, Boston College has zoomed into the lead here. It's an 11 to one run. Louisville hasn't scored in four minutes and BCU is winning on the road at the Yum Center. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Boston College, we knew coming into this game, is a fantastic team. They have some great wins under their belt and they know how to play basketball. It's, their, it's the defensive side for them, though. Wagner getting in some passing lanes, making some easy layups, and now they're up, like you said, on Louisville at the Yum Center. And there's a block underneath by Todd as Van Lith drives. She wanted the foul. BC quickly back in the other direction, and it's taken away by Robinson. And then coming in hot is Lacey, and a jump ball is called. Walls is furious. that little cookie jar steal there from Mikasa Robinson. We talked about her earlier, just doing all of the little things and finding a way to make a play when the Louisville Cardinals need it. As Jeff Walls continues to express his frustration, <laughs> let me give you three things here, Jess, that are the difference in the second quarter. BC 13-3 lead on points off turnovers in this quarter. 10 points in the paint to Louisville's zero and they're four of four from three-point range. Not bad for a team shooting 26.5% for the season from three. No, it's not, but when you let a young team come in here and gain confidence from the start, 
that is a scary thing because if they see the ball go in one time, they're just going to keep shooting it. On the other side of Todd with three on the shot clock. That ran long. And Dixon tracks it down. It's Kono and Robinson paired with Carr and Van Lith, a four-guard lineup with Jess Dixon as the big for Louisville. Trying to find her in the post, but Carr fires a three and got it. A huge bucket for Louisville, ending a five-plus-minute drought for the Cards. Jeff, I think she was about five feet off the three-point line. Three threes for Chris Lynn Carr tonight in this first quarter. 11 points, leading all scores. Kono comes up with the steal, pulls up, missed the foul line jumper, but it falls back to Van Lith who threw it away. Let's take a look at that Chris Lynn Carr three. That is a deep three. But when you're a 47% Free, or, sorry, three-point shooter. I mean, you're taking that shot, especially when your team is down and needs a bucket. I mean, 11 to one run for Boston College before that. Number three skipped off of the backboard, but it ended up falling back to BC. Shot clock obviously not restarting. 15 on the shot clock, under a minute to go in the first half. And a moving... No, it's an offensive foul, not a moving screen. It was on Lacey, the forearm. And on the other side of that was Mikasa Robinson, who just does all of the little things correct. Four turnovers for Lacey. That was her first foul. 25 seconds difference. And Van Lith is going to go to the free throw line here to shoot a couple. She draws the foul underneath on Mayer. Mayer has two fouls so far tonight. Van Lith just two of eight from the field. She has had a couple of trips to the free throw line. Yeah, and just an outright battle between these two teams right now, just going back and forth. It's fun to watch, except the turnovers. <laughs> Nobody wants teams. to watch the turnovers. No. 29 between them in the first half. Both of these coaches would tell you they would hate these numbers <laughs> for a full game at 15 and 14. And here we are at halftime looking at them. Wagner into the lane, tries the Euro step, missed it. And there's one second between the game clock and the shot clock, but the foul there turns the shot clock off was on Wagner. She's got two. A little bit of some frustration there that, that didn't go in. Yeah, and good defense. Wait, Haley Van Lith keeping her hands up. Wagner would get that offensive rebound if Mikasa Robinson didn't come in to clean it up. Could be the last shot here for Louisville if they milk the clock. Shot clock is off. whole lot here. Here's Van Lith out front. And if you see this formation right now, Narika Kono in the left corner. Christian Carr was in the right corner. Two of Louisville's three best three-point shooters. To Kono. She couldn't get it to fall. An unlucky pair of bounces there. And the Cardinals will take a one-point lead into the break. They've been pretty good when leading up 12 and one this season went in front at halftime. So those turnovers have been live ball turnovers where each other's, the opposite team of whoever did not turn the ball over is going to score on the other end. So I'm interested to see how these teams adapt at halftime and come out and not turn the ball over and play good solid defense. So we've got a battle. Carr, Van Lith, Cochran, Dixon, and Jones on the floor. Louisville now has surpassed its season average in turnovers. They averaged 15.2 a game. They've got 16. And BC is pushing toward its season average. As there's an offensive foul there fighting for the ball 
And just like that, just like the start of the game, two turnovers right off the bat. Lacey Gakdang with her two fouls. Mayor, Daly, and Wagner on the floor for BC. Here's Carr out front. Jones steps into a jumper. Wagner having a good solid game on the glass. Six rebounds for her to go with her eight points. Pull up jumper is good from Daly. BC back in the lead. really took command in that first quarter, led by 11 at the break, but BC came right back in that second quarter, and that could be a big moment here. There's a foul is called underneath on Lacey. That's her second, I thought. Maybe Dang was whistled for it there, but Dixon to the line. And as you saw, Louisville trying to run their offense, slowing down the pace a little bit, trying to get a quick hitter. Excellent pass by Chrislyn Carr. That's one of those one that Liz Dixon has to have the and one, though. She does get the roll on that first free throw. And the second one is good as well. So Louisville started slow and is now 8 for 11 from the free throw line as we've now experienced our eighth lead change. Little trap from Van Lith gets the steal. Carr scoops it off to Van Lith. Wasn't really ready for it. Cochran, the jumper from inside the free throw arc there, makes it. A little bit of an awkward hesitation by Van Lith because everybody picked her up, but way to be patient. And Cochran, way to knock down the 15-foot shot. You know, for all the turnover issues tonight, Louisville has 10 assists on 12 field goals. Yeah, that's that's a good stat line. Dang outside the mayor for three. There's a fight underneath between Jones and ultimately Dixon, her own teammate. It fell to Mayer who scores and immediately stopped there. Lacey is down. And Jeff Walls is not happy about uh, his players slapping the ball around and not just grabbing it. No, he's definitely not. Boston College, such a good offensive rebounding team. Lacey getting some attention now from the team trainers. Hopefully she's okay. This car has her pass tipped away, but it's kept alive by Louisville. Boston College really getting after it on the defensive end and just making Louisville make plays they don't want to play. Dixon on the offensive board. Carr was open for a second. Nice pass inside. And Cochran with the finish. Five assists for Carr. And Liz Dixon was the reason for that second chance point. She got the offensive rebound. And Louisville's able to go back up three now. And that's where the vision of a point guard separates itself from everybody else to see that pass and deliver it. No, it really does. A nice cut by Olivia Cochran. This mayor out front. Daly tried to give it off to Wagner. I don't think Wagner expected that. Steps into a jumper way off. And it'll be Louisville basketball. Look at that crystalline car. Just unbelievable stat line. Like we talk about 47% three-point shooter, 3.6 assists per game. When she plays well, Louisville wins. Jumper from Jones missed it. BC wants to make sure that they hang around in this one. Louisville typically does pretty well in these second halves to pull away from teams they should feel like they should be beating. Here's Gakting. Daly driving on Cochran. Lula wanted to travel. Mayer steps into the jumper, got it. It's a one point game. This has been very entertaining tonight at the Yum Center, albeit and a tad sloppy. And 
Good sight to see for BC as Jojo Lacey trotting over to check back in after taking a whack to the face. Foul underneath is on Daly, who also took a heavy hit out of that. It'll be Jones to the free throw line. Morgan Jones tonight, four points, two rebounds. She picked up her second foul. Lacey is back on the floor. Wagner also leaves for Van Timmeren. Morgan Jones, another one of these Louisville players who, when she plays well, when she plays with her teammates, Louisville can win. Coming off big Florida State win where she just had an unbelievable game. Just does a little bit of everything, filling that Emily Angsler type role in terms of stat production. No, she it's a really does. Different. Morgan Jones, she's so athletic, and Jeff Walls is really challenging her to get a paint touch every time because nobody can stop her, he says, getting in that paint. When she gets a paint touch, she either has her pull-up jump shot or she can make the nice pass out to a three-point shooter. You can see what BC was trying to do there in the pass ahead by Todd, but no dice there as Van Timmeren just couldn't quite catch on to it. Two-point Louisville lead in this third quarter. In the thick of ACC play. And Todd just get, getting a deflection on the ball, making Louisville have to reset their offense with now 12 seconds on the shot clock. Some people may not think those deflections matter, but they do. And lift for three. She has been fantastic from distance tonight. Two for three. She's got 12, a game high. And Louisville's lead has gotten a little bit of room out to five. A late whistle. But Boston College just continuing to attack the basket. And Haley Van Lith finding the open spot, knocking down the three. You know, I give some of that credit to us because we jinxed her at the beginning of the game <laughs> saying that she has not been as successful from the three-point line. No, she puts the work in day in and day out. And like Jeff Wall says, he wasn't worried about her three not going in in past games. Tiana Todd, the freshman from Canada, shooting the first free throws of the night for Boston College. And the second one is good for Todd. And Boston College is one of those teams who tries, who averages 20 free throws a game and just one for two of them on the line right now. Eagles done a good job staying out of foul trouble. Inside now to Dixon. Under 10 on the shot. And lift, tough shot. Couldn't get it to fall. Comes Mayer. Ten points, four rebounds, four assists for the point guard, Mayer. Ready for that media timeout, Van Timmeren. I think she thought she got caught in the air there. Turned it over, Carr missed a little floater. Put back is good for Louisville. Nice offensive rebound by the 5-5 guard, Chrislin Carr. Just four second chance points for Louisville so far, but that was a big one. Up six. Jumper is no good. And Cochran beat out to that ball, but it bounced out of bounds. It's 44-38 Louisville with 4.08. Haley Van Lith and Chrislin Carr have been doing a lot of the heavy lifting in the scoring category for Louisville tonight. Five threes between the two of them. 25 points as this duo has helped Louisville get a little bit of room up six midway through this third quarter. Jeff Greer, Jess Lemley here with you. And Jess, if Louisville's going to do anything the rest of the season, these two both have to be scoring and distributing. 100%. Both of these two players have been very consistent throughout the entire season on scoring the basketball. 
but Krislyn Carr started in the game off strong. Now she has four steals, really trying to set the defensive tempo and getting the Louisville team some more possessions. It's Carr, Kono, Van Lith, Dixon, and Cochran on the floor for Louisville. Lacey, Gakdang, Van Timmeren, Mayer, and Todd for BC. And another turnover. Boston College is doing a really nice job of getting deflections and turnovers because they're beating the Louisville players to the spot and not allowing Louisville to get to their possession. Oh, we the got a little mix end. up here oh, between goodness. Cochran and who was it underneath? It was Daly. Chris Lynn Carr coming over to join the fray. And you can read Jeff Walls' lips. He said, that was stupid. <laughs> Game's already been wild enough, as if it needed anything else. It was Cochran and Daly, and Todd got involved. And Chris Lynn Carr trying to break it up. I, can, I don't know about that. That's uh, yeah. that's going to be, I'm going to assume double technicals there. Yeah, I would say so because, I mean, both of them kind of initiated. We didn't get to see Daly's face or what she said. I'm sure the refs will look at all angles of it, though. And I can only imagine what Coach Jeff Walls is saying to his players right now. Ashley Good and Meadow Overstreet looking at the replay here as Mark McClenney trying to talk to both of the coaching staffs. Anything else? So there was a personal foul on Lacey, or excuse me, Daly. And what they are trying to make sure they have right is the double technical, double intentional foul between these uh, the two players. It doesn't look like BC's coaching staff agrees with it. No, Jeff, because you know that's one of those plays that you have to keep your cool. It's a six point game right now. And if for some reason the refs saw anything intentional on Cochran, I mean, that's a big swing. Boston College gets two free throws and the ball back. Like I, we said, it's going to be probably a double technical. Jeff Wall's over there trying to talk <laughs> to the ref, trying to figure it out. He is just so entertaining. <laughs> he I, is. He's just always, his brain is always just ticking, ticking, ticking as he's trying to talk things through with the referees. It appears that we've got at least enough review now to talk through everything. 3.45 here to go in this third quarter. Louisville is up six on BC. The Cards trying to get to their sixth win in the ACC. We're picked to win the league. A top 30 team right now in the net rankings. BC coming into this game ranked 77th in the net, but their strength of schedule is 14th. And they have earned some of those wins. You mentioned earlier, Jess, they beat NC State. Top 10 team, they beat Florida State, team that Louisville just beat on the road. So we knew that this had potential to be a difficult game for the homestanding cards and it has truly lived up to that. It's been a scratch and claw affair right up to the moment we just experienced. Oh yeah, I mean anybody who can, any team that goes to NC State and beats them on their home floor, you know it's an impressive team. Same thing with Florida State. It was at Boston College but Florida State, a really really good basketball team who's just downright tough. So they have two really good wins under their belt. Mark McClenney and Jeff Walls are talking things through still. The fans are starting to get a little restless. <laughs> They're just like, let's play basketball. So Van Lith is going to go to the free throw line here, it looks like, in a moment. And we're going to get an explanation here from Mark McClenney. Uh, 
intentional foul on red 21 and another intentional foul on red 30. So there were two intentional fouls called on Boston College and a technical on Louisville. Cochran was assessed the technical, and then it was Daly and Todd who were involved for Boston College. That is why Louisville will get two free throws in the ball here. It's going to be Van Lith who will shoot. She's four of six from the line today. And you can see it in Coach Joan Anna's face right now. She is not happy with that call. Yeah, Burnaby McNamee clearly frustrated. Her staff is frustrated. You know, I talked about earlier how it could be on white. Could be a swing in the basketball game on Boston College side. Now Haley Van Lith at the line could put him up eight. I had to do some quick math there. <laughs> <laughs> Once you graduate from school, you should never have to do math again as the two free throws are good for Van Lith. And now Louisville also gets the ball, which gives them another opportunity to score, and it could be a 10-point ball game. She's got 14. And Louisville will get the ball here, a potentially big swing. And Coach Joanna and Jeff Walls talking to each other on the sideline. As we know, they are good friends. Coached at Maryland together in 2006. After all of that, I actually am happy to. <laughs> it's enjoyable to, to see, see them yeah, no, bantering a little bit there as Louisville turns the ball over right out of the gate there. And that. And Louisville Jeff now. Jeff Walls is not going to sleep tonight. No. It's been a frustrating experience. Up eight for Louisville. Here's Mayer into the forecourt for the Eagles. Need to try to find some momentum here again. Lacey out front, now Van Timmeren for three. Just rattled out. That was a good look for Van Timmeren. Maybe a Louisville basketball. Just, you look at that last possession though, and Lacey flying in from the three-point line, getting a tip. She doesn't get the offensive rebound, but she knocks the ball out of Cochran's hand. So now Louisville has to set up their offense, and now Boston College is able to set up their defense. Chance to turn this into a big swing for Louisville, but they haven't been able to truly take advantage of it. Mayer, Timmeron. Good defense from Dixon. Mayer for three, two threes for BC, in and out in two consecutive possessions as the offensive foul, or the foul, excuse me, on the rebound is called on Cochran. Crowd doesn't like that one. And they're saying that right arm, the chicken wing. Yeah, it kind of pushes her off. Cocktail. Tracks that down. This is Lacey out front. 15 on the shot. There. Now the seven on the shot. A dangerous pass. And Kono is called for the foul. Lacey will go to the free throw line here as 3.5 seconds were left on the shot clock. And from afar, you know, it looked like she got all ball, but got the slice of arm. That's one of those things, though, that you have to know the shot clock is winding down. The crowd furious with that call as Lacey makes the first. Lacey the, has seven points. The crowd's been really into it tonight with these refs. We're, we're used to seeing Jeff Walls, you know, get on them, <laughs> but the crowd, I mean, they're, they're very animated tonight. 46-40, final 90, excuse me, 150 seconds of this third quarter. Nice pass from Kono inside to Dixon. And Narika Kono, she's an excellent three-point shooter. Boston College runs her off the line. She has basketball IQ where somebody picks her up, she dishes it. Just beautiful basketball. 13 assists on 16 buckets for Louisville. BC trying to hang tight, haven't made a field goal in the last 4.15. To Van Timmeren, jumper is good. That's a big one for BC. Big shot by Van Timmerman, excuse me. 
six-point game. Boston College needs to get a stop, score stop, and they're right back in it. Got over three, missed it. And that's going to be off of Cochran. It's a good look for Louisville. Kyla Harris checking in here for Louisville. Wagner on the floor now for BC as well. The Cardinals picking up their defensive pressure full court. Both teams in the bonus here in this third quarter. And Timmerin. Mayer flipped it back inside of Van Timmerman finished and won. And the fouls on Van Lith. Van Timmerman with two really big buckets for this Boston College team. It was a late arrival there, Jess, it looks like on Van Lith. Yeah, and that's that help side defense where Haley Van Lith's player was nowhere in sight. Talk about Boston College loves to try the basketball. She has to get there a little bit earlier to take that charge. And Timmerin from Allendale, Michigan, one of a handful of sophomores on this team. And it is a three-point game, a quick 7-2 burst from BC. This is where they need their stars to come alive, Louisville, and that's exactly what happens. Van Lith all the way to the 10. Yeah, late in the game, you put the ball in her hands and she is she's going to score. 16 for Van Lith, under a minute here in the third quarter. There now with Wagner. Wagner trying to take advantage of the size difference there with Van Lith. Van Lith got the steal. And Louisville's gotta be careful here. They're gonna get 10 seconds. And they do. Now Walls is furious. Furious. <laughs> now Louisville with 19 turnovers. You see Boston College has 20. That's one of those. Boston College threw two people at Van Lith. The Louisville players, everybody else other than Liz Dixon was on the other side of the at their end of the basket and had no idea that Van Lith was getting trapped. A bit of a letdown in communication for Louisville. 20 seconds to go here in the third quarter. NBC get it back to one possession. Here's Mayer guarded out front by Carr. Action starts for BC. Lacey, nice drive, flips it up and in, and one. A nice take by Lacey, and that is how you know time and score. I mean, look at that, 3.3 seconds left on the shot clock. It could not have been executed more perfectly. JoJo Lacey, the junior from Pennsylvania, is having herself a game tonight. 10 points, five rebounds, three assists, two steals. And she gets it to a two-point deficit. Enough time to get a shot for Louisville, Van Lith. Tries the runner short, and it's a two-point game. These teams cannot get any separation. Plenty of good stuff in both directions. Come to TurboTax, and... Says two steals for the junior from Pennsylvania, and Jessis, Boston College team has a few players who have stepped up in key moments and Lacey is the latest to do so. Yeah, they really have. And we knew when Boston College went down early in the game, they were not going to quit. They were going to find a way to fight back. And JoJo Lacey has really put this team on her back and knocked down some open shots that matter. Two point game, fourth quarter. It's been fun. Final 10 minutes of this battle. Jeff Greer, Jess Lindley here with you on the ACC Network. Wagner dumps it off to Gokdang and flipped it up, and it's a tie game. Strap in, folks. We've got a fun one going here. Lot at stake 
for Louisville, trying to maintain its status in the race for first place. Fourth tie of the night between these two teams. BC still very much a team with some at-large berth hopes, NCAA tournament hopes. And a win on the road like this to add to a resume that already includes a win at NC State and at home against Florida State is a pretty impressive couple of wins for the Eagles to claim. Yeah, you can just see it in both teams' eyes that they are playing for something tonight. Boston College to get another really good win under their belt and Louisville to stay on top of the ACC. Akron tracks down the rebound. Robinson out on the floor for Louisville here to start this fourth quarter. Akron out front. Ten on the shot. Louisville frustrated on offense. Here's Robinson trying the lefty flip up and in, and she drew the foul. Switched to her right hand at the last second and drew the foul on Van Timmer. And when you need something to happen, just give it, get it to Robinson, whether it's on the offensive end, driving to the basket, or the defensive end. She comes up with the little plays that the Louisville Cardinals need right now. Robinson, two points tonight, both of them from the free throw line. Second one is good. It's a one-point Louisville lead. The Yum Center has been tense all night. The team is struggling with turnovers. And Louisville with a jump ball there and a takeaway. Van Lith showing the good hands. Yeah, that's the way Van Lith staying down in a stance making she knows Wagner is going to drive to the basket with her right hand so just being able to stay down sit in a stance grab the ball tie it up now it's Louisville's possession I'm going to do all of that without coming out tonight so far she's played every minute with Kristen Carr and still putting in that excellent defensive effort Cochran underneath got it big bucket from Olivia Cochran she has eight points to go with seven boards Three-point Louisville lead, 7.45 to go. And Jeff, this game is going to come down to who can get more defensive stops. And Louisville will happy, happily take that. A mid-range jumper missed. And left guarded by Wagner. Trying to get on that left hand. Had to get rid of it. And a foul underneath on Gakte. That is her third. We were told a funny thing. Before every game, you got to get your pronunciation guide. And Maria Gokdang recently told her school staff, you know, my last name's actually pronounced Gokdang. It's been Gakdang on every broadcast we've seen. Heck of a player for BC. One of the best shot blockers in the country. Averaged two a game last year, 107 in her career now. As BC gets a chance now to try to get back within one or tie it. And there's a foul on the jumper. It's Lacey who will go to the line. And I think Jeff Walls now is certainly not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> no, he's, he's not having that. Cochran is bigger than Lacey, taller than Lacey. So all she has to do is stick a hand up to can test Lacey's shot, but instead she comes down, fouls her on the arm, and now two free throws where Boston College can put it back within one. And he's explaining all of that to her right now. <laughs> Lacey, 12 points, looking for 13. Got it. And that's a one-point game. If I know him well enough, he was saying she wasn't going to make that shot. That's a tough Tough shot with a hand in the face. Robinson, the jumper, down to roll. Big shot from Mikasa Robinson. We've talked about Mikasa Robinson all game long. 
but she's not a great scorer. She's worked on it in the offseason, though, and we've seen her score a little bit more and more this season, but 6.40 to go, and she knocks down a big one. How about that for a big one? Mayer ties it up at 55. And Mayer turning to her teammates on the bench, saying, let's go. Three threes for the freshman, 13 points. Robinson out front, 12 on the shot clock. Nice cut, and pass, and finish. Money for Haley Van Lith all day long right at that ACC. Van Lith now with 18 or more points in every ACC game this season. Eight in a row. And Wagner turned it over. A brutal turnover for BC. 21 for the game. And we've seen those turnovers all night long from both teams. Just a little bit miscommunication, thinking her teammate was open and then realizing quickly she was not just taking that extra step. And credit to Liz Dixon there. She got just briefly got a position on her opponent there to kind of confuse Wagner as Van Lith misses the jumper. Good rebound from Robinson. Van Lith for three, missed it. it falls to Lacey. Two-point game. Mayor guarded by Carr. Here's Van Timmeren. Todd with a nice up fake all the way to the rim. That's a tough Ooh. shot that's in. How did that go in? A little English. Haley Van Lith running her off the line. That incredible shot. Does Louisville have an answer? <laughs> Van Lith, little hezzy dribble, fall away. Got it. And just a back and forth game right now. Both teams, no defense, but all offense. We'll have to see who can play better defense. 57, 59, Louisville's up on top with five minutes to go. Eat like a king. Back in Louisville, where it has been a topsy-turvy game, especially in the first half, both teams making runs to either take a big lead like Louisville did or fight back as BC did. This second half has been just about even. Two points separating these squads. Jess Lemley, Jeff Greer here with you. Everybody in the arena has gotten their viewers worth tonight with this game. Yeah, they really have. You know, both teams going back and forth, but we knew coming into it, both offenses could score the basketball. 59, 57, it's one of those things, who can play defense? Who can get down in the stands for the next five minutes and say, I'm not going to allow you to score? And just like that, Louisville steals the basketball. Chrislyn Carr with the huge three to put the Cardinals on top. That is a dagger of a sequence for Boston College. Louisville up five. No, it really is, but you know, Chrislyn Carr got that shot because of Louisville's defense, and that's what, if Louisville wants to make a long run in the ACC and NCAA tournament, they are going to have to continue to improve on their defense to get shots like that. Five on the shot clock, a tough shot put up, and a foul called as Nyla Harris got the rebound. How about this for a sequence? Robinson the steal, Carr. The triple automatic from the corner. Louisville's up five. Mac, what year was it again? Night. Lee Van Lith was a smart choice. She's up to 13 20 point performances this season, 20 points. And how about JoJo Lacey leading the charge? Boston College has had a number of contributors getting into double digit scoring up to three. But Lacey has led the charge with 13 points herself. How about this for Van Lith? I mean, 11 just... <laughs> 20 point performances in the first two years, 13 no. this season. Incredible. And we talk about it over, everybody talks about her over and over again. She's just an impressive player. 
works on our game and can do it all. You rarely see a player who can score from all three levels. And she's one of those players. And she's shown it tonight. And she is into the lane, cut off by Todd. Nice pass from Robinson and Harris with the finish. It's a great pass from Robinson. She's got four assists. Now that's back-to-back -back possessions where Robinson has drew the defender in and kicked it to an open teammate for the shot. A quick 7-0 burst from Louisville has the lead out to seven points. Big possession here for BC. Mayer for three. She needed it, and so did BC. Four-point game, three and a half minutes to go. Huge shot by Mayer. Miscommunication on the defensive end for Louisville. Seven of 16 from three tonight, the Eagles. Here's Van Lith, trying to turn. Steps through and flips it up and in. That is a tough bucket, as usual, from Haley Van Lith. Here's Gokdan, turns and misses. Van Lith with the four. Two forty-five to go. Louisville up six. Louisville slowing it down here, running through their offensive possessions. Carr, nice pass out to Robinson. Robinson looking for some help. Now HVL five on the shot. Haley Van Lith. It ends up with Robinson at the buzzer, and the referees say she didn't get it off in time. 2.22 to go in this game. Jeff Walls is saying that Robinson got it off in time. Obviously, there's a big difference between a six and eight point lead, multiple possessions. Yes, there is. And the crowd being animated again. Let's see here. And it does uh, look like. Yeah. yeah, she did not get that ball off. I think her right hand is still on that ball when the yeah. clock hits zero. So good call by the ref, Oof. even though Jeff Walls is mad. He caught a lot of heat for that call. <laughs> Mark McClenney, but it, he was right just barely, but he was right. 66-60, 2.22 to go. And Robinson almost with her seventh point of the night. It's a nice looking jumper. No, it definitely is. <laughs> Big possession again here for BC. Everyone matters at this point. Have to take care of the basketball. Both teams have struggled with that tonight. Yes. 43 combined turnovers. Big defensive possession here for Louisville and a big offensive possession for Boston College. And Louisville gets the charge. I think Nyla Harris. That's a big play for a freshman to make with two minutes left in a big game. Yeah, it is. And, you know, we didn't see her a lot in that second and third quarter. So for her to be able to come in, regroup, and get this charge call, even though the ball was going out of bounds, huge possession by Nyla Harris. And Daly is going to foul out with that offensive foul. And I think Joanna Burnaby McNamee is trying to argue that the ball was out of bounds before the foul was committed. I'm not sure that that is really an argument you can make, but we'll see if they look at it. They are going to look at it. So the teams are going to head over to the benches. You know, we have gone to the monitor a lot tonight. Let's see. Daly no, is out of control. That was a foul... That was a foul before the ball was out of bounds. The contact was made before the ball was out of bounds. Previous offensive foul is under review for restricted area. Oh, for restricted oh, gotcha. area. Because ultimately, I don't know that it really matters with player control. Yeah. Regardless of the outcome. And I don't think that she was in the restricted area either. Oh, yeah. You can see the back of her ankles in front of the restricted line. Well, either way... Offensive call stands. Visiting team is charged one timeout. Either way, Andrea Daly will head to the bench. Six points, four rebounds for her in 23 minutes of play. And it'll be the Louisville basketball 
2.02 to go. And I expect Boston College to put the full court press here and try to keep the ball out of Haley Van Lys and Chrislin Carr's hands. Dixon and Cochran on the floor for Louisville with HVL, Carr, and Robinson. Three ball handlers for Louisville. It's Lacey, Gakdang, Mayer, Wagner, and Todd on the floor for BC. Van Lith guarded way out front by Wagner. And you're going to continue to see Louisville take their time, run through their offensive plays, and wait till the last second to get that shot off. A dangerous skip pass from Robinson, but a foul is called on top. That'll be five on Tiana Todd, the freshman. Todd had three points and a couple of boards tonight. Two steals for her. And a dangerous pass, but it just got to Robinson in time. Yeah, that was, that was a lucky pass because if Todd gets her hand on that ball, she is going down to the other end and scoring a layup to make it a four-point game. Would have been an uncontested layup, too. Louisville did not have anyone in position to challenge that with Robinson hitting the deck. Casa Robinson has meant so much to this Louisville program over the course of her career. Graduate student, Kentuckian. A little bit of everything tonight. She's got seven points now to go with four rebounds, four assists, and two steals. In other words, a day that ends in Y for Mikasa Robinson. <laughs> and Louisville's up eight here with 90 seconds to go. Three fouls to give for Louisville if they want to start using them at some point. Here's Mayer guarded by Cochran out front. Step back jumper, missed it. And Carr comes down with the rebound. She's got Van Lith with her. Van Lith, tough catch, flips it up, missed it. Rebound, Wagner. BC trying to push it ahead to the other direction and a quick flip in is good from Lacey. She has 15. The clock is going to pass one minute here on the inbounds. Almost taken away. It's back to a two-possession game now. Here's Robinson, and she's fouled out front by Lacey. And Burnaby McNamee trying to tell her team, hey, we're down six with under a minute to go. You don't go back to defense inside the three-point line. <laughs> no. you got to push. So Robinson will go to the line. She's five of six tonight from the charity stripe. Make that six of seven. That's four, by the way, on Lacey, who has been a key go-to scorer for BC. So she's gotta be careful the rest of the way as the second free throw is missed. And a timeout called by BC. 52.7 seconds to play in this one. Louisville up seven, 69-62. And I gotta tell you, Jess, Louisville picked a really good time in this game to make four of its last five field goals. No, they really did. And that's the thing. We knew Boston College was not going to go away. They were going to keep fighting back. Seven-point game. Both teams have had some really bad turnovers, but Louisville right now up with 52 seconds to go. Haley Van Lith, the star of the show tonight. And then Mikasa Robinson. I mean, that right there, Chris and Carr knocking down the open three to put Louisville ahead two possessions. And then Mayer. I mean, both teams, just a downright battle the entire game, just back and forth, back and forth. So, oh. no, go ahead. I was just going to say, we've gone all the way through this game pretty much even in everything. Louisville's plus eight on free throws, plus eight on points off turnover. Both of those things have helped them immensely. As Mayer off to Van Timmeren for three. That's a huge shot for BC. And we've seen Van Timmerman make a few huge shots for Boston College in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter. It's a four-point game, 35.9 to go, and HVL will go to the line to shoot some free throws here. And if you're Boston College, you are not wanting to send Haley Van Lith to the line. I think Coach Joanne over there was telling her team players to foul somebody else other than her. First free throw is up and good. Van Lith has 23 now. Come on, come on, come on. 
Washington State native makes the second one. And a timeout for Boston College. I believe they're going to advance the ball too. And this is one of those games I feel like you, you want both teams to win because they've played so evenly all game long. I mean, it's a six-point game right now, but it really s still feels like it's tied. It's been entertaining to watch both teams clean it up at the last second. Only six turnovers combined in this final quarter. <laughs> and through the first three quarters, 38. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I have a feeling that tomorrow at practices for both of these teams, turnovers will be an emphasis in taking care of the basketball. Louisville has a monster showdown on Sunday back here at the Yum Center on ABC taking on NC State at 1 p.m. That game is always an absolute battle between those two teams. And we know Timmerin. Boston College beat NC State just a few weeks ago. Both of these teams uh, have some really nice wins this season. And for Louisville coming into this, they've played such a hard schedule. They're expecting all of these games to be battles. That's why they played the non-conference that they did. Yeah, and you know, that's one thing you have to look at. Louisville has scored 71 points right now and have still turned the ball over 21 times. So just think about if in and Boston College with 65 points, if you don't turn that ball over and get that many more shots, I mean, this could be easily an 100 point game right now. Well, we're shooting 54% here in the second half. Six of 12 from three point range for the game. And now 19 of 25 from the free throw line. They're up eight and a foul on Carr. There's two fouls to give for Louisville. And that's a really good foul by Chrislin Carr. Mayer was going full speed to the basket, out of control, trying to get an easy layup or an and one. Chrislin Carr realized that she they still had three fouls to give, so she slowed down their offense, and now Boston College has to set it back up. That's a tough shot from Lacey with Robinson in her face. And that may just be the last gasp of this one. As Robinson contested the air ball. Ava McGee, the freshman from Washington, D.C., checks in. Another ball handler coming on in Marika Kono for Louisville. Cochran throws the fly route to Robinson, and Robinson overran the bounce. I think she may have just pretended to wipe her brow there <laughs> while dribbling out of traffic, and that's how this thing is going to end. What a game this was, and Louisville is going to hang on and win 73-65. You know, both teams played really good basketball. Now they're going to have to work on taking care of of the basketball and not turning it over. We saw a high amount of turnovers from both teams. That's the negative out of this game, but it was a hard fart battle.